Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Master Theorem in Design and Analysis of Algorithms. Master Theorem is mainly used for finding the time complexity of given recurrence relation. Okay, it has a shorthand way to find out the time complexity of given recurrence relation by using master theorem. It is most important theorem for finding the time complexity of given recurrence relation. Okay, so substitution method is also used for finding the time complexity of given recurrence relation but Substitution method takes more time to find out the time complexity. To overcome that disadvantage in substitution method, we have to use the master theorem for finding the time complexity of given recurrence relation within a less time. Okay, so this video is useful for gate exam point of view okay the students who are prepared for gate examination and also who are search for finding the time complexity in a minimum time so this video is useful okay so now we go for master theorem okay so master theorem is a popular theorem for solving the given recurrence relation is in the form of t of n is equal to a into t of n by b plus theta of n power k into log power p n. Okay, so suppose a given recurrence relation is in the form, okay, then how to find out the time complexity? Okay. So that can be discussed in this video. Here A and B are constants and K is also K greater than or equal to 0 and P is also a real number. So A must be greater than or equal to 1, B greater than 1, K greater than or equal to 0 and P is a real number. Okay. So compulsory the given recurrence relation is in this form then we have to find out the time complexity using master theorem okay so to solve that recurrence relation using master theorem okay we have we compare a value with the b power k so a value with b power k here a value is there here b value is there, here k value is there. Now a value is compared with b power k. So a value is compared with b power k. Then we follow the following cases. Okay, first the given recurrence relation is compared with this standard recurrence relation. Okay, after comparing that we have to find out the a value, B value, K value and P value. Then we have to find out the A is compared with B power K. Okay. Now we have to check A is equal to B power K, A greater than B power K, A less than B power K. So these are the following cases we have to use. Here case 1 is A greater than B power K. Okay, so if A value is greater than B power K, then the time complexity T of N is equal to theta into N log B power A. Okay, suppose if A is equal to B power K, then now considering the P value, P less than 1, then T of N is equal to theta of N log B power A. If P equal to minus 1, then P of N is equal to theta of N log B power A into log power 2. 
n if p greater than minus 1 then t of n is equal to theta of n log d power a into log power p plus 1 into n then go for case 3 case 3 is used if a less than b power k then if p less than 0 then t of n is equal to theta of n power k if p greater than 0 then p of n is equal to theta of n power k into log power p n okay so after comparing the given recurrence relation with this standard relation now check what are the values of a b p and k now we have to find out the relation a and b power k if a less than b power k we have to use case 3 if a equal to b power k we have to use case 2 if a greater than b power k we have to use case 1 okay in the case 2 now we have to check the what is the value of p p less than 1 this is the time complexity p equal to 1 this is the time complexity p greater than minus 1 this is the time complexity if a less than b power k if p less than 0 p of n is equal to this time complexity p greater than or equal to 0 this is the time complexity okay now we have to remember these of uh, four six formulas once you are remembering these uh, six formulas we have definitely get three or four marks in gate examination okay now we have to go for one example problem on master theorem solve the following recurrence relation using master theorem t of n is equal to 3 into t of n by 2 plus n square. This is the given recurrence relation. This given recurrence relation is compared with the standard recurrence relation. Okay. Then what are the values of a, b, k and p? a is equal to a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2, n power k, k value is 2, but log power p n it is not there then it can be written as p is equal to g once we have to find out this value now check the relation between a and b power k here a equal to 3 b power k b value is 2 k value is 2 2 power 2 that is equal to 4 okay a is equal to 3 b power k is equal to 4 what is the relation between them 3 and 4 3 less than 4 that means a less than b power k so 3 less than 4 a less than b power k which case here a less than b power k we have to use case 3 now we go for case 3 now what is the p value p is the here p it is a log power p and it is not there so that p is equal to 0 so here there are two cases are there one is p less than 0 and second case p greater than or is equal to 0. Then, so p is equal to 0 means in case 3 satisfies the second point. So, t of n is equal to theta of n power k into log power p n. Okay, theta of what is the k value? So, n power 2 k value is 2 log power what is the p value? 0 into n. So, log of anything power 0 is 1. Theta of n square into 1. So, that is theta of n square. So, therefore, time complexity T of n is equal to theta of n square. So, in this way, we have to find out the time complexity. So, okay. Thank you. In the next video, we go for example 